Welcome back to Budapest. We are midway through the FINA Swimming World Cup here in Hungary. We're hoping for another night of spectacular action, and we have thousands of fans packing into the Duna Arena here. Looking forward to just that. Home success is what they came to see, and the first chance of that came in the men's 50-meter backstroke. Christoph Milak is better known for his butterfly prowess, but produced a stunning sprint to claim gold. Australia's Zakin Sersi was second, another Hungarian, Sebastian Zabo, third. Rio Olympic champion and Tokyo silver medalist Kyle Chalmers was the favorite in the 100-meter freestyle final. It was really a question of just how much he would win by. It was clear. His time of 45.0 was also a new Australian short course record. It's nice to deliver performances like that. I think with that pressure and expectation, it allows me to do such things in the pool. So to break that Australian record finally, after being so close so many times, um, it's very special. Fellow Aussie Emma McKeown was another high-profile day one winner and the six-time Olympic gold medalist claimed her second title today, this time in the 50-metre butterfly. Now, if you've ever wondered whether athletes get bored of winning all the time, then just ask Matt Stace. He'll give you a firm no. They love winning race after race after race. He'd already claimed six gold medals from the FINA World Cup Series so far. He was looking for a magic number seven in the 200 metres IM. He knew that Lithuania's world and European short course champion Dennis Rapsi would provide a tough opponent and the pair were close until the breaststroke leg where Sates pulled clear and held that through the freestyle. Now, Maddie Wilson was hospitalized because of COVID last month and stunned even herself by winning gold, silver and bronze medals in Berlin last week. Now full of confidence, she was looking for a second successive title in the women's 200 meter freestyle. And she delivered a professional performance throughout the eight lengths. One minute, 53.82 seconds saw her finish clear of Katja Fain and Erin Gemmel. Each time I race it and race here, I'm having more fun and enjoying the experience even more. So I think, like, nothing can really stop me now. Obviously, I was sick last time and before last one, and I enjoyed it so much that I'm just, I don't want to stop. I want to keep doing it. Another clear winner was the American Olympic champion Tom Shields. He secured the biggest win of the night in the 200 meters butterfly. Kira Tucson won two out of the three backstroke titles in Berlin last week. She's going for the golden treble here after winning the 50 last night. She's up in the 100. The Dutch swimmer was certainly back to her best in Budapest. 55.72, a much improved time on last week. So my plan was to take it out a lot faster today and then hold on. And I think it worked out. I'm happy with it. Yeah. Countryman Arno Kaminga has been unbeatable so far in the World Cup, but there was a surprise in the 50 metres, with the breaststroke specialist edged into second as Slovenian Petr Stevens grabbed gold. I, it's been a long time for me to be on this level. It's, it's just in two years I haven't raced and well, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. No such surprises in the men's 1500 metres, with Germany's Olympic marathon champion Florian Welbeck making light work of the field and matching his results in his home nation last week. The 400 meters IM is one of the toughest events in the swim program, and it was Italy's Iliara Cucinato who fought through the pain to claim a first ever World Cup win. Another claiming a maiden gold was Russia's Nika Godin. The Europeans in her home country in November are her focus, but she impressed in this 100 meter breaststroke final. The USA then denied Hungary what would have been their second gold of the day by claiming a thrilling victory in the mixed 4x50 meter freestyle relay final. The night finished with a special exhibition race for one of Hungarian swimming's absolute greatest champions, a certain Laszlo Che. The six-time Olympic medalist, who also won multiple World and European Championship honors, closed his competitive career at a fifth Olympics, Tokyo 2020, but was given a proper send-off in front of his home fans here, swimming with champions past and present. It's very special and it's amazing for me. It is a really good closure for me and I really enjoy to be here. A special way to finish a stunning night of swimming here at the Duna Arena. And don't forget, you can find out more from Laszlo and all of the other races from tonight by checking out FINA's YouTube channel.